Hi, Soul Family. This is Latanya with Saggy Soul. Thank you so much for tuning in to your reading. Uh, this reading is from May the 15th through roughly May the 31st. Uh, I did start with Taurus because it's Taurus season, but now I'm on to Capricorn. Capricorn, before I get started, let me say thank you to all of my old subscribers. I really appreciate you. Thank you to my new subscribers. Welcome. Thank you so much for subscribing. So, family, thank you for the shares, the emails, the comments, the likes, the dislikes. It is all energy. Thank you so much, so family, for leaving your comments, sharing your personal stories, because, of course, it helps to heal others, others who are going through the same situations, similar situations, and those who will be coming up behind the energy. All right, Capricorn, new month, same year, <laughs> May 2021. I actually would like to read your horoscope, horoscope for the month of May, and it reads, Take time to slow down and enjoy things that bring you joy. Relish and deliciously mellow energy while it lasts. <laughs> okay. It is never a waste of time to concentrate on your well-being. Don't forget it. Your rewarding days were the first and the second, which have already passed, and you have two more days left on the 28th and the 29th, which is toward the end of this month. And your challenging days will be the 15th and the 16th, with just this upcoming Saturday, Sunday. All right, Capricorn, we do have a new moon in the sign of Taurus today. So hopefully you've been setting your intentions and able to manifest, release in the mind, body, and soul of any type of toxicity. And to my Capricorn women out there, happy belated Mother's Day. My divine feminine, uh, in Proverbs 31, verses 10, it talks about a noble character. A woman who is a wife has a noble character and her weight is much more than rubies. Her worth is which is much more than rubies. So my divine feminine, I'm talking to the ones who are not involved in gossip, not involved in any type of manipulation, not involved in any type of group situations that are low vibe and low karmic of behaviors. I'm talking to divine feminines who are in the upright. They are not destroyers of others reputation, destroyers of others' relationships, destroyers of marriages. Because when you take something that does not belong to you, that might be a masculine, but he was not meant to be your divine masculine, right? And you lose him how you get him. So I'm talking to the divine feminines who are in the upright. They've done the work. They are healed. They are whole. And they bow, they bow down night and day to the Almighty God. They have the attitude of the gratitude to know that even during a pandemic, they're still standing, they're still surviving, and they are flourishing and growing. And a lot of times when you're single, you're looking for your match, that divine masculine, those masculines who are on your journey in order to meet someone where you are healed and whole. And the attitude of gratitude, and you know that you serve the light, that's when the divine is going to send you someone to meet you on your path, to meet you on your level. And some of you, sometimes you got to raise that vibration a little bit higher, right? Because that person is waiting for you up here. So releasing that gossip, releasing those friends who are jealous of you anyway, who don't want the best for you, who will give you wrong advice to steer you into the wrong directions, right? Ladies, you know all about it. And to my divine masculines, there are a lot of men out here who are raising children. And I'm not talking child support. I'm talking sole custody of their children. They're living in the upright. Uh, and divine masculines, there is a verse in 1 John, 2nd chapter, verses 15 through 17. And it talks about people who are lovers of the world and everything of the world. And there's three things that kills a soul and kills your, kills your connection to spirit. And that is lust of the eyes, lust of the flesh, and living a prideful life. I'm talking to divine masculines who don't follow social media. They don't follow other men. They bow down and give gratitude to the most high God. Because you're a man, whether you make 25,000, whether you make 50,000, 60,000, I'm talking to men who don't have to put on a suit, who don't have to put on Rolexes, who don't have to drive fancy cars to know their self-worth. I'm talking about men who are looking for their equal, their counterparts, and they're doing the work. 
And again, when you're doing the work, the divine will send you someone who will meet you on your level where you are. All right. I think I've said enough. <laughs> this may resonate with some people, a lot of people, maybe just one or two people's meant to hear it the most. Continue to check your moon sign, your rising, your Venus, your Mars, your Lilith, uh, Adam's first wife. Look at the shadow side, how to balance the dark and the good. Um, I think that's about it, Capricorn. I've already set my intentions and I have already set my prayer off camera. Uh, I'm going to bring you on down. Let's go ahead and get into your pre-shuffle. Hope you're having a good week. Hope you're staying focused. Focused on your breath. Focused on meditation. Focused on yoga. Focused on your family. Focus on making the best of everything, even during a pandemic. When I split the deck, Capricorn, I have the Eight of Pentacles in the reverse and the Seven of Swords in the reverse. Hmm. Some type of lies, deception, trickery that could have resulted in some type of loss of money or even a loss of a job or loss of a relationship. Hmm. And when I split the deck again, Capricorn, I have the Eight of Wands in the reverse, the Three of Wands in the reverse. There's no opportunity here in these entanglements. There's no working together. There's no more third parties. There's no communication. There's no more passion. Let's keep going. One more. Let's cut the deck. Your focus, the hermit. Major Arcana in the reverse. You also have the Ace of Pentacles. In the upright. You also have the Five of Wands in the reverse. You also have the Two of Swords in the reverse. You also have the Eight of Cups in the reverse. You also have the Six of Pentacles in the upright. And you also have the Nine of Wands in the reverse. All right, let's see here. I think that's good. I'm not going to play with it too much, so family, I'll end up cutting the camera off. Capricorn, your focus, the hermit. Major Arcana in the reverse. Now, on the upright, the hermit, he goes within. He or she goes within to seek solitude. Because they've been put into a situation, or they've had an experience, whether they've experienced betrayal, deception, lies, cheating, being stole from. In the upright, this is going within to find your voice, find your light again, and in the reverse, it's almost being stuck, almost being stagnant. Anxiety, having depression, worried about what others think. And you also have the Ace of Pentacles in the upright. Aces, this is new beginnings. New job, new homes, new careers, new relationships, new relocation. And you also have the Five of Wands. And then reverse. In the upright, this is... Everybody involved in your business, competition, lies, deception, gossip, everyone throwing their two cents, two cents in or their stick in. <laughs> and in the reverse, it's cutting that all out. And you also have the two of swords in the reverse. In the upright, the two of swords is 
trying to make a decision. Do I go left? Do I go right? Do I go north? Do I go south? Do I go east? Do I go west? I'm not going to do anything. I'm just going to stay here. But not making a decision is actually making a decision. It's being stuck and stagnant. And then reverse. Understanding. That someone has to be cut off. A relationship has to be cut off. A job cut off. A situation ship. Finally making that choice, and you also have the Eight of Cups in the reverse. Now on the upright, the Eight of Cups is walking away. And it's not only walking away, it's burning bridges, it's crashing cups, it's breaking every glass that you've ever known. Because this was never good for you. A lot of these things that were low karmic vibration done in the dark. Because in the reverse... It's almost like wanting to come back and start anew after you release toxicity from the mind, body, and soul. And you also have the Six of Pentacles. This is equal reciprocity. These Pentacles pretty much look like they're distributed equally. Possibly finally wanting to grow with another, give with another, love another. And you also have the Nine of Wands in the reverse. Because in the upright, the Nine of Wands, it's a struggle. Getting to the top is a struggle. Obstacles, barriers, people in your way, situations in your way, lack of finances, lack of faith. And in the reverse... No longer struggling. Making the decision to let go of whatever is burdening you, whether it's a relationship, a job, a person, a place, a thing. Releasing it. The problem is, as you've released it, there's anxiety here. There's depression here. There could be even some loneliness. But if you reach out to the Most High God, Allah, Jehovah, Elohim, Father, <laughs> the divine will shine your light, their light on your path, and will heal your broken heart. And your guardian angels and angels and ancestral line will hold your hand and guide you along the path that you need guidance on. Capricorn on the board, we have cups, but they're all broken. <laughs> Water signs, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. We also have pentacles, earth signs, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. We also have wands, fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We also have swords, air signs, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, and the hermit, uh, which for me, Virgo, and as a reader, Aquarius. Uh, so Capricorn, we have a huge pentacle here. Ace of Pentacles. It's almost like bullseye. I'm talking to Capricorns who are in the upright, divine masculine, divine feminists who have done the work. Something that you are getting ready to release or you have released, and once you release it, a new opportunity, a new career, a new job, a new re relocation, a new home, a new business partnership, a new friendship, a new romantic relationship is waiting for you. The thing is, there's a hermit here in the reverse. So Capricorn, either this is you, this is the person that you are dealing with. Because someone has left behind certain things that no longer serves them. And someone is in a little funk or a little depression about having to leave those karmic toys, situations, places, vices. Hmm. But I do have competition here in Strife. I do have lots of options and... 
being stuck and stagnant. The Capricorns, I'm talking to you, release gossip. You release others who no longer served your better good. You release false friends, false family members, false business partners, false spouses, false friendships. I'm talking to the Capricorns who have chose themselves. And for you releasing karmic ties, situations, addictions, it's almost like the divine is giving you a new beginning, a new opportunity in a relationship, a new opportunity in a career, a new opportunity in a new business, for some of you even a new relocation. And not only have you no longer playing the victim, no longer staying stuck and stagnant in the darkness. A lot of you have burnt these bridges. A lot of you have broken all these glasses. And you're realizing that you now no longer fighting for situations that were never on your level. Fighting for situations that kept you stuck and stagnant. Fighting for situations that kept you in the dark. Fighting for situations that were not honest, not loving, not kind, not transparent. Some of you, this new start. Maybe due to a loss. Maybe part of your karma that you had to serve. But if you take this new start, what I'm seeing here is eventually you're going to get to the Seven of Pentacles very quick. If you take this new start, everything that you lost will be restored. Money, jobs, homes, friends, a soul family that's on your level, a divine feminine or a divine masculine that's on your level. But there's something in your energy here. <clears throat> Almost like being afraid of a new start. Almost having anxiety about a new start, whether it's a new career, a new job, a new relationship, a, a new relocation. Someone here has anxiety or falling into a depressed state because you feel like you need others around you. You don't need others around you who don't really support you. You don't need others around you who really don't love you. You don't need others around you who will lie or say whatever you want to hear just so they can stay in your good graces, just so that you can do things for them, buy things for them, give them money. I'm talking to the Capricorn who knows they have to walk the path alone. You have to heal alone. You have to love yourself, be honest with yourself. And when you do that, the divine is waiting here with this new start for you. New friends, new atmospheres, new moves, new careers, new jobs. I'm talking to the Capricorns who have released toxicity from their mind, their body and soul, people, places, things, situationships, addictions, and you're afraid because you feel like you're alone, but you're never alone. Wow. So, you receive the High Priest, Harness Mystic Power, and the Seer. See beyond your current situation. 
seeing beyond your current situation. A lot of you, this is what you wished for. This is what you hoped for. This is what you manifested. Now, depending if you're going to step into this opportunity and you show the divine that you're ready to take this jeep, this jump, this leap, this could be in 2021. For some of you, 2022. For others, 2023. Harnessing your mystic powers and bowing down to the Most Almighty, giving thanks and gratitude and seeing beyond current situations. Knowing that trouble never lasts long, especially when you burn that bridge, you release toxicity, you release karmic people, places, and things. That journey is lonely. But it's meant to propel you onto your life path. It's meant to show you what's next on your life, in your life. New opportunities, new friends, new lovers, a wife, a husband, <laughs> money, right? Capricorn, this is your reading from May the 15th through May the 31st. Please share, comment, subscribe, like. <laughs> Thank you so much for tuning in to Saggy Soul. And Capricorn, my prayer for you is that you continue to be steadfast in your faith, believing in yourself, knowing that you made the right decision to release People who betrayed you, people who stole from you, people who manipulated you, people who backstabbed you, people who told you one thing and did another, people who were full of words and not action. Our prayer for you is that you continue to release those people in those situations and that you lean not into your own understanding, but into the understanding of Father, Jehovah, Elohim, Abba. <laughs> Leaning onto the divine's understanding and taking those steps one step at a time. There may be anxiety. You may feel lonely. You may feel unloved, but you are always loved. You're always surrounded by your angels, your ancestor line, your spirit guides. Continue to bow down night and day to give you the strength to stand up against your enemies, to face those who want to see you fall, to keep your head up and take step after step after step. My prayer for you is strength, compassion, and love. This is my prayer for you. In the name of Jesus, amen.